Eating some frozen grapes right now. Frozen grapes? Literally out of control. What is up guys? Michael coming back at you with another video. If you don't know who I am, like I just said, my name is Michael. You can find me on YouTube with M-I-Q-L. I make college advice videos and tech videos for uh, for people like me who think, uh, think that stuff is interesting. This is a new episode of Quora's Quests. If you don't know what that is, it is when I go through all of the emails, Quora spams me daily, and I find interesting questions uh, that I can share with all of you and find more research and, you know, try, try and spread it a little bit. It would mean a ton if you could comment down below of what you thought of the video, comment down some of your tips for college students finding jobs or tech things like that. Consider hitting that like button and subscribe button. If you want to check out my other Chorus Quest videos about which field pays more, tech consulting or banking, you can find that down in the description below. Today's Quora is, the question is, what are the highest paid programming languages and areas? What are the best career paths? Taking into account salary and job opportunities. You can find the original article and any further research in the description below. Now, our answer is coming from our friend Barry, who is a computer scientist. And he said, in quotations, I know that it has been asked many times on Quora, but you didn't like those answers. Look, if you want to make 500 k a year doing programming, get a PhD in economics and an MS in computer science, focusing on ASIC and FPGA programming and go work for a boutique hedge fund. Alternatively, do the serial startup thing and hope you hit the jackpot. Now, I didn't really like this answer from our friend Barry over here. It just didn't feel like he answered the question, you know? And I'm sitting here in a traditional ramen shirt with a random phone number on it, and I didn't really get in for any information from that. All I knew is, you know, I should go to get a PhD in economics and an MS in comp sci. Now, for a lot of college students, that seems pretty daunting. So. I went and did a little bit more research to find what actually are the highest paying skills. Our highest paying skills are in technical skills. According to a list compiled by Tech Republic, the highest paying languages are Perl, Shell, Node.js, JavaScript, Java, TypeScript, Python, Ruby, Swift, and C Sharp which all had average wages between 101,000 and 110,000 and skills that exceeded 120,000. Oh, I'm getting a phone call right now. What's up, mom? No, I already bought bananas. All right, thanks. That was a legitimate phone call, by the way, that I wasn't faking that. My mom just asked me if I wanted bananas from Costco. Skill sets where the average annual wage exceeded 120,000 was Amazon, Dynamo, DB, Amazon Redshift, Apache Cassandra, Elasticsearch, RabbitMQ, MapReduce, and Sapara, Saphana. Now, I don't know all of those things, and I, as a college student in CompSci, I wouldn't expect most people to know those things. But if we scroll down a little bit, we see that they create gave us a little bit of a table about the top paying tech skills and experience. Now, um, I'll throw this up on screen just so you guys can see what I'm looking at over here. Is that, uh, okay, In they're using 2018 numbers. So in 2018, the highest paid skill was Golang, which I believe is also Go and and I think it's used within Google with a average salary of $132,827, followed by Apache Kafka, $127,000, then Amazon DynamoDB at $125,000. And if you look down, you can see all sorts of things. Elasticsearch, MapReduce. I would suggest if your university has a distributed uh, computing sort of class, you should take that because you learn a lot of things on this list. So I took one and you learn things like MapReduce, you learn things like containers, Zookeeper, Hadoop, Docker, things like that are obviously highly paid skills. And a lot of these are very new, new emerging technologies, new 
skills and experiences and that's why you won't see things like um, C++ or something like that on here. But yeah, what I would do is, you know, maybe just take a look at this list briefly, see how much you are worth. If we look up here, we see that the top paying location is Silicon Valley. The average wage was about $118,306. Other cities averaging between 105 and 100,000 included Seattle, San Diego, Minneapolis, Boston, Baltimore, Portland, New York, New York. And apparently the best cities adjusted for the cost of living are Minneapolis, Portland, Tampa, Charlotte, and Seattle. Thank you to whoever posed the question and Barry giving his little opinion there. But now we have a little bit more research. So, you know, you found out the skills, you found out um, the best cities. So maybe you could adjust your plans a little bit? I don't know. My name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to keep quick giving you some advice when you need it. Bad British accents when you need it. Consider hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. Comment down below if you found this useful. If you have any tips for me making videos, I would really, really appreciate it. Tips on how to do a good accent because obviously mine is garbage. But again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael. Consider tuning in to another video of mine in the future. It's been a pleasure and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.